Hey Glamour, it's Ivani and I'm here to answer some questions, show you an eyeshadow look, and show you some of my fave beauty products. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you one of my really easy eyeshadow looks that I like to do with my palette when I just need a pop of color on my eyes. So I've already primed my eyes, but I'm gonna go in with Inaudible Noise, which is my white shadow. And I'm going to get some on my brush, tap, and apply that all over my eyelid. I am obsessed with this shadow because it is so pigmented and it just like, the one white shadow that I've used that just stays. So now that I have the white shadow applied, I'm going to go in with any color I have in here. I got a lot of options, but specifically I'm gonna go in with Mama's Fave because it matches my shirt. And I'm just going to get some on the brush and apply this to your eyelid at the bottom. And I just pat it in and then I blend afterward. And once you're done, this is what it looks like. Very quick, very simple. Now, here are some products that I literally cannot live without because it's in my everyday regime. First is this moisturizer. My face gets so dry around my eyelids, just literally all over, and I could not find anything that would cure this issue except this. This has helped me so much, and I cannot live without this. Next is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This, I did not know I needed it until I bought it. I use it every single day, every time I need to use it. This is straight what I go for, and if anyone asks me what to use, I will say this. So if you didn't know, I do have a collection with Morphe. It's Morphe X Vonnie Gregg, and it's a whole collection of stuff, but I wanted to specifically talk about my palette. I made sure to put every shade in there that I wanted to see in a palette that I could carry around, and I was able to do that, and most of the names on here are family and friends, and it's just like having my family and friends with me all the time, because I always have this with me. Next is my Well Glow. I use this almost every single day. Actually, I do use it every single day because I take pictures every single day. But other than that, I love to put this on when I go out and take pictures because the sun hits it and it's just stunning. Next thing that I didn't know that I needed until I got it was the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. This is... My love, I'm just kidding. But I use this anytime I need to go for a concealer. And I have a lot of concealers laying around and this is the one that I always go for. This is, that one is amazing. Lastly is my Morphe X Vani Gregg Bronzer. This is in shade of Hawaii. I use this so much, so much. Contour, bronzing, collarbones everywhere. It has a little bit of glow to it, so it's really amazing. Some beauty trends that I've been seeing that are like really exciting right now is that people are digging more into using colors, like colored liners and like bright neon colors and glitter and like people are just like throwing it all over their face and making it an amazing look. And that is what's really exciting because I love seeing that. It really keeps me interested in like watching a video or like looking on Instagram. And I feel like people just keep on adding to that and just making it better. So it just keeps getting more exciting. There are so many people that are inspiring me that I literally cannot give you names because I don't know, but my For You page and my Instagram Explore page is filled with inspiration all the time. And that's why I've been so motivated lately. One thing that I have on my bucket list that I am ready to complete is to give you guys more scary makeup content. I have been working on some ideas and I am excited for you guys to see them. Tips for TikTok are kind of hard just because it depends on what content you are posting. I post makeup and fashion, so I always want to like bring something that maybe not everyone has seen on your page, something that makes you stand out more when it comes to posting trends. Always try to add a little bit of my twist to trends if I can, and that's usually what keeps my page alive. <laughs> the process behind making my makeup videos, like on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. It's not really as crazy as you might think it is. I start out with an emotion that I am feeling based off of what like makeup look that I'm trying to go for. If I'm going for a regular daily makeup look, I don't really have an emotion behind that. It's more like, what am I wearing that day? But when it comes to me doing crazier clown makeups and more characteristic makeup looks, I really feel an emotion and then I start to build it all together. I usually draw it out and then I 
plastered on my face with my makeup. Taking care of my mental health while being on social media and my well-being in general is very hard and that's why I usually take breaks. I will take maybe almost three to five days off of just staying fully off of my phone and just like doing beauty stuff, doing random makeup stuff, laying in bed, eating my favorite food, just to like get me back in the right mindset so that I can give the best content out to everyone else. I don't necessarily hype myself up before filming, but I do need somewhat some motivation to get out of bed and film because sometimes I just wanna lay in bed all day. But what helps like motivate me is when I'm just, you know, scrolling through TikTok, seeing everyone else post videos and I'm like, Okay, maybe I need to get out, maybe I need to film, maybe I need to be active on my accounts. You know, it, it just really depends on the day. I don't I don't really have anything that's really exciting about me that no one knows about because I am very public with my life. I want everyone to know exactly how I'm doing and exactly how I'm feeling. I would say that my relationship with beauty has changed a lot since I've grown up basically. I mean, I've gotten more into taking care of my actual skin before applying, you know, makeup. So actually doing skincare, because before I wasn't doing that, I wasn't thinking about it, and now that I am, I am happy to be. <laughs> My favorite beauty look that I have created is all of them, because they all mean different things to me, which makes me for who I am, and I just really, I can't really pick and choose between them. Thank you Glamour for featuring me and letting me show you what beauty means to me. And also thank you for letting me show off my Morphe X Ivani Gray collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye.